lot of people were talking about climate change and sea level rise and the impact it's going to have on our coastal cities. We want to make sure we're talking about the impact that's going to happen in places like this, places used by birds and wildlife and are important to people too. Our beaches and shores, well, they're just irreplaceable. In Florida, sea level has risen nine inches in the past hundred years, but the rate at which sea level is rising is increasing over time. Based on this trend, current projections are that sea level will rise 1.5 feet by the year 2050 and up to five feet by 2100. With salt marsh being a very vulnerable habitat, there are many species of coastal birds that rely on salt marshes either directly, but most likely indirectly for food supply. These species feed on the fishes and the shrimp that depend on the salt marsh as a nursery for their food source. Marsh wrens, seaside sparrows, and clapper rails build nests hidden in salt marsh grass just above high tide. As sea level rises, salt marshes will be inundated, and these birds are likely to disappear if we can't find ways to allow the habitat to migrate and reestablish inland in low-lying protected areas adjacent to the coast. Oyster shell rakes provide nesting habitat for American oyster catchers and resting habitat for migratory shorebirds within food-rich salt marsh landscapes. Rising sea levels will inundate and erode these shell mounds, forcing American oyster catchers to nest on the mainland, where predation of eggs and chicks is more likely. One promising method of managing salt marsh erosion that has been used in northeast Florida is a living shoreline that protects the salt marsh and allows it to rebuild naturally. Researchers at the Guana Telemato Matanzas National Estuarine Research Reserve have constructed a living shoreline to investigate the potential for coastal adaptation to rising sea levels. Living shorelines are hardscape structures created in a manner that allow oyster larvae to settle and grow, eventually creating a living oyster reef. These reefs provide shelter and nursery habitat for many fish and invertebrate species, thereby increasing food available for shorebirds. They also protect the nearby shoreline from erosion, in turn maintaining important shorebird nesting and loafing habitat, as well as reducing loss of salt marsh. Salt marsh plants and birds need space and time to adapt to changes in sea level rise, so we cannot underestimate the importance of preserving uplands adjacent to the coast that can provide safe haven to nesting and migratory birds in the decades to come. Audubon Florida calls on the public and public officials to learn more about birds and wildlife living in coastal areas and how to protect their habitat in the face of sea level rise. We need to plan for climate change and make sure that our response to sea level rise helps rather than harms Florida's salt marsh and beaches.